What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 Mighty video. And guys, today, we are going to be going over 12-0. So, how to go 12-0 the quickest? Honestly, it's kind of hard. I'm not going to say it's an easy task to do. Before we get into it, man, if you guys could please drop 100 likes in the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. We're also going to have some market talk later. Um, please let me know um, if you guys have been troubling with this. I have a lot of methods for you guys to make you go 12-0. and 0. Also, if you guys would please follow my Twitter. I'm buying, selling, MT, all that good stuff. Also, obviously, we do MT giveaways on there. So that'd be greatly appreciated as well. So without further ado, let's get into some tips for 12-0. and 0. There's a ton of tips for 12-0. and 0. And honestly, I'm going to say this. If you have a God squad and you're trying to go 12-0, and 0, and you're decent at the game, you're not that good, I would recommend stepping aside from the God Squad, because honestly, I've tried it. I um, This month so far, I have not gone 12-0. I've gone 11-1, I've gone 10-1, I've gone 8-1, and, and I've gone 9-1. So yeah, that says that. I pretty much went every single one besides 12-0. How did I do it? Um, I went 10-1 with my God Squad, or should I say 10-3, so, or 10-2, whatever it is. Um, I did get close with my God Squad, but I ran into this really sweaty kid. I actually only lost by two. So yeah, the only promise with the God Squads, if the kids consistently green threes off the trail cheese, you're gonna lose. I've lost. I also lost because I missed a wide open layup with Giannis at 11 and one. So that was probably one of my biggest rages ever. Didn't record it, but yo, this is the team I'm gonna be running in 12 and all. I'm currently three and zero with it. Now this team. Is pretty fire. You're gonna match up with probably all bronzes. You may you gotta make sure all of your cards are 68 overalls. Besides Boban. This card is so good. He actually just dropped 25 and 13 on me. And I actually only beat the kid by five. He's actually really good. So, first off, if you want to go 12 and 0, you could do this by matching up with a friend in your area. This is actually a pretty good method. I would recommend doing it in the morning. I would say 8 Eastern. Because if you go on now and do it, it's going to be harder to do so. There's going to be a lot more kids playing. So you kind of want to do it either at 4 in the morning, 8 in the morning. Earlier in the morning, earlier the better. You have a better chance of matching up with your friends. So now we're going to get into the gameplay aspect. Pretty much, there's a couple plays I'm going to run. I've been honestly doing research on it. And shout out to Bio2KHGB for showing me these. Ty D on the defensive settings. Honestly, I'm going to put it all into a video. So I'm going to show you some defensive settings, some offensive settings, some offensive plays. And all that good stuff. It's pretty much basics. It's nothing to the extent. It's actually kind of easy to do. And I'm going to show you what to do. So this is the lineup I'm going to be running. First off, I like running some three-point cheesers. So Malcolm Miller could shoot. Amir Coffey's a six, seven point guard. So I like running him. He actually could shoot wide open. And honestly, try to find some three-point cheesers. Dean Wade's a perfect example. This Lou King's a bucket. So I would definitely running this squad. If you want to change out Kendrick Nung for a better shooter. Um, this Norvell Jr. is a baller too. He could shoot well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. I'm just going to go into the CPU game, show you some plays I've been running that have been helping me out. So yeah, without further ado, man, let's get into it. Before we even start up the ball, I'm going to get into the settings. These settings are, in my opinion, the best. So on ball pressure, I've noticed in online games, either tight or smother is probably the best one. I like tight. Because, bro, I'm not even kidding. First off, they play tight the whole game. So, one of those kids that panic and pass a lot. Um, first off, the kids that panic and pass a lot. Those bronze players actually have a very high chance of stealing the ball off the pass. So, by playing tight, you're going to have that guy all the way up front. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And then, off ball pressure, I would put either tight or deny ball. Because, honestly, you always want them tight. If you're good at off-balling on the 2-3 zone, this is going to be the best method. First off, if you're running bronzes, 2-3 zone is going to be the best method. So I'm going to get into that and show you what I'm talking about. We also got offensive settings. So now what you want to do, you, it doesn't really matter what coach you run. Personally, I like running Nick Nurse, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, it kind of does, but it doesn't at the same time. So first off, bro, 
Quick four horns flare. This play is disgusting. We're going to go with that play. I'm going to show you punch five. What is it? Punch five flare ribs money. And then we got ISO 12. Honestly, I got ISO 12 and punch five flare rip for my friends. Pretty fire. Freelance. Got this one for my friend as well. He probably got it off YouTube. But it's 21 delay. This play, it's interesting. Um, 21 delays the freelance. You'll see. You'll see. So we're going to get to the tip. I'm going to show you guys how good these methods are. First off, I am versing a computer, but I just want to show you the basics because honestly, it makes a lot of sense. So um, let's just win the tip real quick. So, all right, he won the tip. So I'm going to press D pad to the left, go to 2 3 zone. Now, literally, since no bronzes are actually good shooting, none of them have quick draw. None of any good stats. You're just going to camp in the paint and just look around, bro. You never want to play on ball, first off. I don't care. If you're going to call me a loser for playing on ball, I don't care. The whole freaking game, everybody plays off ball. All the good players. I don't know how they made that. But clearly, that was insane defense. So now, what you want to do, you want to press D-pad to the left, D-pad to the right. Go to freelance sets, 21 delay. Now, what you want to do, you can set picks, okay? Um, I recommend setting picks. If you set picks up here... There's a lot of options. So now I'm going to go all the way. I could pass that off, get the easy bucket, but I messed up. So reset. Let's call a timeout. Oh, there's 2. seconds left. Boards aren't going to make it. Then again, you'll see. So he missed it. We got the board. Now I'm going to run. I'm going to run quick horns flare, bro. This play is disgusting. So we're going to run here. Look, look. My power forward is going to run for the three. Lou King. He's actually money. He should make that. Yeah, it's money. So I've been running Lou King uh power forward you guys should probably pick him up he's actually money as an easy jumper defense bro i'm telling you two three zone cheese we're gonna run all these plays for you guys two three zones gonna be unbeatable if you could see the floor you just gotta look around the floor see what's going on you see nothing is open right now this is clamps bro this is clamps you could sit down low all game he's got Giannis. he's clamped and i know this is a pro difficulty but this is gonna happen to users with all bronze teams they're gonna have no way to get in the paint you're going to force these bronze teams to shoot with their bron with their team forcing the shoot. They're not going to make every shot, bro. So now we're going to run. This play is really cheese, too. We're going to run ISO 12 rip. Um, honestly, I don't know why it's so good, but it just is. Like, look, B's wide open to the basket. It's auto. Of course, we're going to miss it because he has a ruby. But online against bronzes, man, it's going to be money. I'm telling you. Of course, the computer is going to green. We got the ISO 12 rip. That plays money. You could also just keep running picks, bro. Pick and fades, picks. You do it from back here. You could straight up run all the way to the basket. Pass out to Boban. Easy layup, bro. I'm telling you right now. If you're versing a bronze team, they're not going to be able to steal the ball at all, bro. Stealing the ball is going to be the hardest thing for bronze teams. Like I said, bro, 2-3 zone. I'm camping in the paint. I'm off balling. No one is going to get shots off. And they're just going to green, you know. That is not going to happen with bronze cards. I promise you. I promise you, bro. I verse kids online. I'm currently 3-0 with the bronze squad. And it's been going. Not only that, you have a chance of, uh, what's it called? Being with bots. If you checked out Young Sim's video, there's also a way you could match up with bots. So, that's another thing that's kind of cool. Um, you can match up with bots now. So I don't know why, but I heard that it's easier to match up with bronze on the bronze squad. So yeah, that's another thing I could say. 2-3 um, zone, man. If you don't know how to do it, I would say, yeah, just sit there. Also, bro, the picks are deadlier if you do run the 21 delay. And also, I forgot to mention, I'm running the Heat 13 playbook. So number one, you got to run the Heat 13 playbook. Always set your freelance to 21 delay. If you don't know how to do that again, I'll do it again. Right on the D-pad, left, 21 delay. I don't know how that just happened, but Boban's going to grab a ton of boards too because he has that height. Um, he grabs a lot of old boards. You always want to make sure if you're going to run a lot of pick and rolls, I would run 21 freelance, bro. As it, you could run Hawks 2018 like Bio2K does. I'm more of a fan of 21 delay to be completely honest with you. Um, right there, that should be an easy block. There we go. We missed it. 2-3 zone, bro. I'm telling you. So, real quick, here comes the pick from my boy Luke King. I could make him fade because he is a power forward. So, we're going to reset. Oh, I can't dribble. So, let's go. Luke King. All right. Whatever. We're going to have Boban a fade. So, now, right there, we got the mismatch. We're just going to back him down with 7-3 Boban. It should be money, bro. This is pretty easy, man. I'm telling you, bro. These are the best methods to go 12-0. 
Um, not only that, bro, you could easily match up with your friend in the morning and get this as well with this squad. I would recommend trying to do so. And if you don't, you have a still have a really good chance of winning if you do use these tips. Now, defensively, I'm telling you, 2-3 zone is almost a must. Man-to-man -man is not the option. 2-3 zone is going to be the option every single time. Just because, like I said, bronzes don't have quick draw. They don't got range extender. You shouldn't be worried. Even if they have a good three-point shot, they're going to probably miss. I would. They probably will go 30% from the line. Offensively, you're going to run these plays all day, bro. Quick forehards, flare. It's straight money. Wherever the power forward sits to pick, you want to run to that side. You could also go all the way to the basket like that. There's just so many options you could do with that play. You could either pass out to the power forward, Luke King. He could splash. Or you could run all the way around with your 6-7 point guard that I'm using. So, yeah, this is the lineup I've been using. I hope you guys did enjoy because, honestly, these are the best tips. I've been gathering a ton of tips around from different YouTubers, from friends, from everybody. And I wanted to get this video out just for tip-wise. So, yeah. That's really all I got for the video. I'm just simply explaining this to you guys the best I can. And yeah, that's all I got for the video. So hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.